Okay. Stop. This is hot. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear the vent back there. Y'all know I had water damage and this is the mitigation. So hopefully it's not too loud. It's always something. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my PM skincare routine for fall and winter. Earlier this month, well, like in the middle of the month, I shared my AM skincare routine for fall and winter, so I will pop that above and leave it down below so you guys can check that out. I tend to keep my skincare routines congruent between spring and summer and fall and winter because those seasons are pretty much all meshed in here in Atlanta. So if you guys would like to see all the products that I've currently been using and loving, please keep watching. Okay, so like I said in my AM skincare routine video, I receive a lot of products in PR, which I'm so very grateful for. I also purchase a lot on my own because I love trying new products, but some products you are not going to see in this video because they're not necessarily staples, even though I like them. I have a whole skincare store over here. I have skincare closets in my home. I give a lot away to people because not everything works for me that I receive. But then I do have products that I love, but I sub in as needed. So this is not everything I use because my skin is not the same every single week. And I will show you guys in a video like a week of skincare because my skincare fluctuates as my hormones do, as the weather does and everything like that. So let's get into my routine. At night, I either start with a cleanser or a double cleanse. So if I'm wearing makeup, the first thing I will do is take my makeup off. And this is the belief that was in a different language. The Belief Aqua Bomb Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. And I just recently got this a few months ago. It smells just like the Belief Aqua Bomb, which is my favorite uh, moisturizer for the morning. But this works really, really well as a cleansing balm. Now I will say, the texture is a bit thicker than I'm used to because I was using the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm, but I'm not a super fan of Pharmacy's brand overall, just because of some things that happened <laughs> being part of their affiliate program. So I wanted to try something different, a brand that I would actually enjoy using and talking about. And since I like their Aqua Bomb line, I decided to try this. The texture is a little thicker but I will say that immediately upon contact with your skin it's a cleansing balm. It starts to melt and it's just fine. It gets rid of mascara, lash residue, makeup, like foundation, concealer, eyebrows, liquid lipstick, everything. I love this so so much. I used to be a makeup wipe girly but I'm trying to be more eco-friendly where I can so I've been loving a makeup balm for a few years now and I take it off with my Clean Skin Club towels. Now you guys probably are sick of hearing about these. I started using these in 2020. I have never gone back to anything else. These are single use cleansing cloths that are hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic. And I love them because they don't reintroduce bacteria into my skin, which is really amazing because I am acne prone. So I wet it, wring it out, and I use this to remove the makeup from the cleansing balm. I rinse it out, wring it, and do it again. So after I have taken the makeup off, I double cleanse. So I then go in with my Kiehl's Rare Earth Pour, no, Rare Earth Deep Pour Daily Cleanser. And I love this. It's an exfoliating cleanser that's a clay. So if you wear makeup, you will more often than not leave behind traces of makeup unless you double cleanse. So I first go in with my cleansing balm, then I go in with an exfoliating product to really get into my pores and get every trace of makeup off because I use white sheets and white pillowcases. So like, I don't wanna go to bed with mascara and foundation remnants on my skin, but this works really, really well. It lightly exfoliates your skin and it just gets rid of everything. It completely gets rid of all your oil. It has Amazonian clay. It is amazing. I will be picking up another one of these in the Sephora sale later this month because this is amazing. So that's my routine if I'm wearing makeup. But if I'm not wearing makeup, I'm not going through all that. I'm gonna hit my face with my favorite, just all-in-one favorite, favorite cleanser. This is the Josie Marin Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. I've been talking about this for years. It's very gentle. I don't find that it's foaming. It's more so frothy and it's smells like pineapple. Oh, uh-oh. 
<laughs> it smells so good, I love it. It gently cleanses my skin without stripping it or being too hydrating and making me oily, so I really love this. Either using one cleanse or double cleansing when I have makeup on my face. And I always use my Clean Skin Club towel. I have a 20% off coupon code for this. I'll leave it across the screen and link down below. Okay, then we get on to serums. Now, my routine at night is fairly simple because I'm ready to get in the bed. I don't know about you. <laughs> so it kind of depends on what I'm dealing with at the moment. If I am very textured, I will use this serum, the Shawnee Darden Lactic Acid Exfoliating Serum. So lactic acid, in my opinion, is more gentle than your salicylic acid, than any other type of acid because it's just, it's something about it, like it's not as skin irritating, and I don't have sensitive skin, but I still like to be mindful of that. So I put this all over my skin at night. I wake up in the morning and my skin feels brand new. Chemical exfoliation is really nice because you don't have to manually manipulate your skin, which is why it's chemical versus manual. And it gives you renewed skin. The next day you look brightened, you look hydrated, you have diminished fine lines because it's exfoliating your skin at the cellular level. I love this so, so much. A really great product from Shawnee Darden, so shout out to her. Okay, so if I am not having a day or a night where I need that, the next product I'll go in with is my Clarins Double Serum. <sighs> this is my baby. My favorite anti-aging all-in-one serum for the fall and winter, and I really like it because it makes your skin juicy. <laughs> okay, stop. Y'all know I get carried away quite easily, but this literally makes your skin so juicy. So if you have dry, dehydrated skin, if you're in your 30s, 20s, 30s, or 40s, I would say you will like this. It is a water-soluble and oil-soluble formula. So if you look closely, there's a tunnel in the middle for your serum that is water-based, and then this outer ring is for the oil-based serum. And at the top, you can decide how much of each you want to use. So it's a bi-phase product. I love it so much. Once you immediately put it on, your skin just looks revived and hydrated. It's still lightweight, but I can't use this in spring and summer because it's just a bit too heavy because it does have that oil in it. But I find that for the fall and winter when I need that hydration, perfect. So don't think that Clarins is a line for older women. It is not. This is specifically made for those of us in our 20s, 30s, and 40s, and I have been using it for years and I love it. Also gonna pick up this during the Sephora sale. Okay, now if my skin is super, super parched, if I come out of a bout of acne like I'm having now, the next week I will tend to my skin and impart a lot of moisture. So I love using the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum because it gives me so much hydration on its own. Ceramides are even more hydrating to me than hyaluronic acid because the texture of ceramides is usually a bit thicker and more rich. So while hyaluronic acid is what I use every day during the fall and winter in the morning, ceramides I only use like if I have something compromising my skin barrier, such as irritation, acne, anything like that. Now y'all know I'm not a huge fan of Glow Recipe, so if I love something, I really, really do love it, and this is perfect. Okay, the last step in my nighttime skincare routine is of course the good girl, Charlotte Tilbury, and this is her Magic Cream. Now I always talk about how this is the Magic Cream daytime moisturizer. There is a nighttime moisturizer, their night cream. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> That feels like using Vaseline on your face. But if you like a lot of hydration, you might find that that's great. I don't need that. So I like using her daytime moisturizer at night. It has added hyaluronic acid. It's super, super hydrating. It makes you glow and it's a thicker cream. So I don't use this during the daytime because it's way too thick. But at night, it is perfection because it's just enough hydration. It's just thick enough without being too overly thick and being oily and all that stuff because I do still have combination skin. So Charlotte Tilbury has been a staple in my routine for years. 
Never gonna give it up, never gonna give it up. It's so amazing. Okay, now let's talk about some miscellaneous products. The first is going to be my Clean Skin Club Dermadot Acne Patches. Now, I really like these because they are invisible acne patches that you put on a blemish to help me from picking, to help extract the gunk and the bacteria from the pore. And it's also a vegan product. Another reason why I really like these is because you can actually wear them during the day with makeup, but I tend to use them more at night. These work well when the blemish has come to a head, when it's a white head and when it hasn't. Now when it has not come to a head, I put an acne patch on the blemish, leave it on for like 12 to 24 hours, then put another one on to finish drawing it out. And you will actually see a white bubble where it has extracted all that bacteria. So these work really well, especially if you need your acne going quickly. Like if I'm just going to be hanging out around the house, I don't care. Y'all can come and go as you please. Please. That didn't sound right on my face, but y'all know what I mean. But if I have somewhere to be and I have to look like smooth and beat, I will use something like this because they get the job done quickly. Next is my Osea Sea Minerals Mist. And this is not anything that you need, but y'all know how I feel about a good hydrating mist. It's just a fabulous experience. It feels nice. Do I think it's a necessity? No. Do I like it? Yes. Will I repurchase it? I'm not sure, but as you can see, I have used quite a bit of this. I like it. It's a luxury. It feels nice. And of course, at night, I always have to use my Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you already know, this is my favorite lip balm ever. It has an SPF of 25, which is important during the day. But I also love how thin it feels on my lips and how really, really hydrating it is without being too thick. Now it is from a men's skincare line, but that's okay. This is in the scent Pineapple Mint. Mint used to be my favorite, but now it's pineapple mint and I love it oh so much. So guys, that's all I have to share with you in this skincare routine. I will link my AM skincare routine that I did earlier in the month. I'll put a picture here and I'll link it down below. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions. I love you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.